Hello students, in this class of ours we are going to study what are the characteristics of the images that are formed by a plane mirror. See a plane mirror if you define it precisely what is the meaning of it is indicated by a plane figure. See, its reflecting surface is plane that is means it is a plane mirror and at the back side of it you have seen some uh, small oblique lines. This oblique lines the side which is having these oblique sides indicates the painted side. A mirror is painted at the back of it by the silver metal. Silver metal being the best reflector of light and when the maximum light it is able to reflect then alone we say that the bright and sharp image is formed by it. So for getting maximum light is reflected back from the surface, reflecting surface, we paint it uh, with the silver color and to protect the silver color this is painted by this is painted by uh, red paint to protect the silver paint what we do is we paint over the silver paint by red paint so that silver paint is protected now these mirrors are called curved mirrors and their shape could be spherical elliptical or parabolic and uh, this is concave, this is convex. In the next class, we will see in detail. But uh, these are spherical mirrors, usually referred to. This is plane mirror. A plane mirror is the one whose reflecting surface is plane, and the uh, rest of the things I have told. And this is the plane mirror forming an image of a point object. We have discussed a point object is very, very small object, and it is indicated by a dot. This is the dot behind this image is formed. Similarly, this is an extended or finite object. Extended objects are also called finite object and it is having considerable size indicated by an arrow indicating upward, pointing upward. So, this, uh, every point of the object has to be made into image. We have taken only, to keep the diagram simple, we have taken its, uh, the formation of its top and formation of its bottom. Similarly, every point object will be created there an image of. So having said that, now we will come on to the characteristics of the plane mirror. See, a plane mirror is always forming a virtual image. V I R T U A L virtual image and to understand what the virtual image is, like this you see the light rays, they do not actually meet. They are getting reflected back from this surface itself. Similarly, it happens here. Light rays do not actually reach there, but they are appearing to meet when we look from this side. So an image made where the light rays do not actually meet but appear to meet is called a virtual image. And if image is virtual, it undoubtedly that has to be erect. An erect image means see the right side up or up, upright image. You can understand this in contrast with the inverted image. See in case of an inverted image, the upside will be down upside of the object will be down in case of image but this is the erect image object is kept like this image is also formed like this this is erect image and third thing that you can see is image of the object will be formed exactly same distance behind as much object is kept in front of it image <coughs> in case of a plane mirror is formed exactly same behind same distance behind as much object is kept in front of it that is we refer it by same distance so same distance and also another thing that I want to tell is height of the image is same as height of the object and the last characteristic is laterally inverted image the image formed by a plane mirror is laterally inverted or perverted it is also called perverted image perverted image or laterally inverted image what is the meaning of that see uh, left hand side of the object becomes right hand side of the image and right hand side of the object becomes left hand of the image if such type of image is formed that image is called laterally inverted or perverted image it is because of this reason that in an ambulance you find it is written it typically so that when if that is looked into mirror a person can see it exactly in the normal way that it is written so that is because of the laterally inverted image being formed by a plane mirror so these were the characteristics image formed by a plane mirror is 
uh, un, it is virtual, it is erect, it is formed as much behind the mirror, as much object is kept in front of it. Size of the image is exactly same as the size of the object and also the image is literally inverted or 